let's graph relations. So remember that a relation is just a mapping of inputs to outputs and how they relate to each other. And that any type of graph is a relation. So if any graph is a relation, then any equation involving x and y is also a relation. And so we're going to talk about how we can point plot the graph of a relation. And so we're going to start with some simple examples. Let's look at y equals x squared plus 4. And so we're going to build our table again develop our values. We're going to let x be, because this is a square, we're going to go minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And we're going to find our matching y. So we're going to take minus 2 and square it, and add 4, and that gives 4 plus 4, which is 8. And if you remember from earlier, when we're dealing with the square, the minus 2 and the 2 are going to have the same value. So I'm going to just double up on the work, save some time. Because whenever I square a number, it becomes positive. So minus 2 squared and 2 squared are the same. Then 1 plus 4 is 5. So again, I get those two for free. Or not for free, I get one of them for free. 0 squared is, of course, 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. So my three points are minus 2, 8, minus 1, 5, 0, 4, 1, 5, and 2, 8. So when we go to graph, we're going to start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to go out 1, 2, 1, 2. We have a point at 0, 4, at 1, 5, and minus 1, 5, and at 2, 8, and minus 2, 8. And here's the graph of our relation. And now that we have our graph, we know that our domain, the arrows going to left and right, they're going to keep going. They're going to keep going out and out. So our domain here in interval notation is all real numbers, which we express as minus infinity to infinity. Our range, though, if we come from the bottom, the smallest area I have a point is at 4. Anything below 4 doesn't work. So we start at 4, and we go to infinity. So there's our domain and our range for y equals x squared plus 4. Now let's change this around a little bit. Let's say that x equals y squared plus 1. So we're still going to do our point plotting, and we still have a relation. But now, instead of picking x's, we're going to pick y's. And when we do that, we're going to get minus 2 squared plus 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So we're going to get 5 and 5. We're going to get minus 1 squared plus 1, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. And we're going to get 0 squared plus 1, which is 0 plus 1, which is 1. Now, keep in mind that our points are at 5 minus 2, 2 minus 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, and 5, 2. So when we go to do our graph, we're going to be going a different way. We're going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 1, 2, and down 1, 2. So there's our first point. And there's the rest of them. And now we get a graph that's going like this. This time around, our domain is 1 to infinity, because it starts at 1 and goes that way. Those are the only x values I'm allowed. My range, though, goes from minus infinity to positive infinity, because that arrow is going to keep going down, that arrow is going to keep going up. And so if we remember our point plotting, then we're able to graph any relation that comes our way.